Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lecture, we're going to have a discussion about some important MCQs of human digestive system. Let's move to the question number one. Which of the following embryonic layer gave rise to the gut muscles? It is basically mesoderm. Wherever the muscles are, they are developing from mesoderm. So right option is beta. As you can see, all types of muscles, skeletal, or muscular layer of stomach and intestine, or any other muscles, they are developing from the mesoderm layer. So right option is beta. Question number two, which of the following is utilization sequence of stored nutrients during starvation? First of all, you'll make use of carbohydrate reserves if you are starving, then lipids and then proteins. So right option is beta over here. All of the following are considered as macronutrients except uh, salts or minerals they are regarded as micronutrients while others in the list they are macronutrients so alpha which of the following hormone stimulate the production of <clears throat> pancreatic juice and bicarbonate ion it's cholecystokinins and secretin so beta as you can see over here, the duodenum responds by releasing the digestive enzymes, uh, digestive hormones, cholecystokinins and secretin. Cholecystokinin, they stimulate the release of digestive enzyme from the pancreas and bile from the gallbladder. But secretin stimulates the pancreas to release bicarbonate ions. So beta is the right option. Although the stomach is normally thought as a major player in the digestive process, the bulk of the chemical digestion and it is actually occurring in duodenum, where the secretions from pancreas and liver, they are coming for digestion. So right option is beta. What type of muscles are found in last sphincter of the digestive tract? Most of the sphincters in digestive tract, they are made up of smooth muscles. But the last inner sphincter is uh, made up of a skeletal muscles, you know, so right option is beta over here. Teeth specialized for grinding purpose in human, they are. Grinding is a function of premolars as well as molars. So delta is a suitable option over here. <clears throat> you know, canines, they are specialized for tearing purposes and <clears throat> incisor, they are for holding the food in your mouth. After surgical removal of an infected gallbladder, a person must be specially careful to restrict dietary intake of fats, obviously. Which of the following organ is incorrectly paired with its function? We know stomach is involved in partial digestion of proteins. Large intestine is concerned with absorption of water and minerals, not food. And small intestine is involved in various nutrient digestion as well as their absorption and pancreas is concerned with enzymes production. So right option is beta over here, which is not a suitable matching over here. Which of the following is not a major activity of the stomach? Stomach is involved in HCL production, mechanical digestion, as well as some of the nutrients, uh, some of the enzymes are also secreted. But nutrient absorption is not a major function of the stomach. So Charlie, Sodium and other carrier ions facilitate absorption of amino acids as well as glucose. And lacteals are the part of uh, ileum where they are involved in absorption of food. So Charlie, you know, lacteal is a lymph vessel which is present in the micro uh, which is present in the villi of ileum portion. The small intestine is specialized for absorption because it has an extremely large surface area that allows extend, extended exposure of food. And uh, question number 14 is, all of the following will move in upward direction during swallowing process or deglutition, except we know epiglottis, it is uh, forced to move downward in more or less horizontal position while uh, swallowing, while trachea, soft palate and tongue, they show their movement in upward direction. So right option is Charlie, as you can see, when food bolus pushes the epiglottis, it moves downward in more or less horizontal position to push the food bolus 
in two esophagus so right option is charlie digestive system consists of different layers the innermost is known as mucosa and the outermost is serosa while uh, muscularis is the middle layer and submucosa it lies outer to the mucosa and inner to the muscularis protein component of food are digested by the enzymatic secretion of zymogen or chief cells which produce pepsinogen and trypsinogen is activated to trypsin by it is the um, most frequent uh, frequently repeated question in the past papers of uhs it is enterokinase secreted uh, by the duodenal mucosa and involved in the activation of trypsinogen to trypsin saliva is basically composed of water mucus amylase and sodium bicarbonate so charlie in large intestine vitamin k is formed by the activity of some symbiotic bacteria which are e coli and they live symbiotically over there they are facultative as well uh, as well but uh, over here they are performing a role as a symbiosis so preferable answer will be alpha number 20 all of the following are associated glands of digestive system except we know gastric glands they are not associated they are itself the part itself the part of digestive tract but salivary glands pancreas and liver they are considered as associated glands so right option over here will be beta and all of the following are dual glands except salivary glands because salivary glands they are exocrine while all other glands they are endocrine over here in the list endocrine as well as exocrine because gastric glands they are responsible for the production of hormones as well as enzymes pancreas you know is a dual gland liver is also responsible for the production of exocrine secretion by as well as some of the hormones they are also released by liver so gastric glands pancreas and liver they are dual glands but salivary gland is exocrine gland only the amylase tyrin or amylopsin they are involved in the digestion of carbohydrates and they convert starch and glycogen into maltose edible carbohydrates they are converted into maltose so delta gastrin hormone is produced by pyloric region of the stomach due to stimulation from protein food so alpha and dipeptides are converted into amino acids by rypsin that is a dipeptidase enzyme which converts dipeptides into amino acids and which of the following set of enzymes have same substrate and product we know trypsin pepsin and chymotrypsin they are acting on the proteins to convert them into polypeptides and peptones so they are having same substrate as well as products which of the following part of gut provides surface for chemical and mechanical digestion simultaneously it is a uh, oral cavity stomach small intestine as well because chemical as well as mechanical digestion is occurring at all these three sites oral cavity amylase and teeth stomach churning and pepsin and small intestine emulsification and enzymatic digestion so delta swallowing is controlled by medulla so beta the involuntary phases they are controlled by medulla but uh, it also involves oral phase which is voluntary and controlled by cerebrum so beta is the right option over here a specialized layer of muscles found only in stomach and responsible for churning movement of the stomach is oblique layer of muscles which is not found in other parts of digestive tract this layer is specific to the stomach only and is concerned with the churning or mixing process in stomach food is referred as chyle after digestion in small intestine and its absorption the term loss of appetite refers to the disease anorexia nervosa which is more common in uh, younger females the first part of large intestine is cecum and we know that it is having attached finger like projection which is known as appendix as well so alpha is the right answer 
that was all about a uh, discussion of mcqs related to the digestive system next video will be about a respiratory system